Hi, my name is Chris. I'm one of the leasing specialists at the 520 Park Apartments. And today I'm going to show you one of our two bedroom layouts, the York. Come on in. So when you first walk into the York, uh, you're going to open up to your kitchen. Uh, the kitchens are very nice. You get granite countertops from the entire thing. It's real granite. Uh, you get a dishwasher, a full electric range, a built in microwave. Uh, the sink's going to have a garbage disposal. Uh, the uh, sprayer also can just come out. It's very, very easy cleaning. The, um, Full frost refrigerator and freezer is going to have an ice maker in it for your convenience. And the other really nice thing about the uh, kitchens is the cabinets. The cabinets are very tall. These are less space you wouldn't have with more you know, traditional sized cabinets. Uh, so you won't be lacking for, for storage space. Now, if you do need just a little bit extra storage space, the Ivan is also going to provide that. So you do have a couple extra drawers in here. You also have uh, extra cabinet space. Uh, now, the island for most people supersedes the need for a dining room table. Most people just put you know, three or four bar stools around here and call it a day. Um, probably my favorite thing about islands is that they do have outlets in them. So if you, you know, do juicing or you have a stand mixer or an immersion blender, something kind of messy, this is a great space to be able to do um, that prep work or that, or that you know, uh, preparation for, um, for smoothie or whatever. That way you're not married to your countertop and if you splash something somewhere, it's not going to go over the walls and over the cabinets. Now, one of the cool things about the uh, building is the high ceilings. You have 12 feet the open uh, through the uh, kitchen area. Um, it's going to have the, the attendant lights and the uh, recessed lights, uh, normal, in all the apartments, standard all the apartments. And then uh, for the living area, it's going to get 14 foot ceilings. Uh, they kept the original concrete, kind of a throwback to uh, the factory days, uh, when this used to be a furniture factory. Um, now, opposite of the ceiling, the floors, uh, you have hardwood floors throughout the entire uh, common area, and then the bedrooms are going to have carpet. So the common area, you get that very uh, modern look, you get uh, an easy to clean surface. Now, the living room itself is going to get a uh, central couch, you get a 60 inch TV, an entertainment center, you know, a climbing chair or two, uh, with some space for me if you want to put a bookshelf in here. Um, it's a pretty good size, you can fit more or less whatever you need in here. Um, the other nice thing about the living room is the big windows. So, you actually get big windows throughout the entire apartment, they're going to be almost 6 by 8, it gives you a lot of natural light. Uh, this apartment is facing east, so it's going to give you uh, some good uh, sunrise lights, a good morning light. Um, they do open. Uh, you get an uh, opening pane here and an opening pane up there. Uh, and they're double pane windows as well, so it's going to you know, block noise and be better insulated than uh, traditional single pane windows. Alright, I'm going to show you the, uh, what most people call the second bedroom uh, first. Because um, it's going to give you a little bit more space than what most people call the master bedroom. Uh, the second bedroom would be, you know, king size bed, uh, you know, a desk, a bookshelf, um, you know, pretty good size dresser as well, you know, with room to spare. Um, you know, you, you can make either one into your master bedroom. Uh, the reason this one is considered the second bedroom, it has two entrances into the bathroom, one shared entrance from the common areas, and then uh, one from the bedroom itself. Now, like I mentioned, I do get the nice big windows. Uh, many blinds are included in all the apartments. You don't have to go get your own blinds. Uh, and again, they do open. Now this one also has a very nice size walk-in closet. Come on, take a look. So uh, as you can see, uh, you know, pretty good size. Uh, some people actually will take a smaller dresser if they really want to maximize their bedroom space or if they're uh, making that into a home office and they don't want to have like a, a stuff of clothes out there. I will actually put a smaller dresser in here. Now if you made this into your bedroom, one of the nice things is it actually has an outlet. So uh, if you give yourself a little bit of room, uh, you can actually do all your ironing in here if you don't want to wake up, you know, your, your partner or, you know, whatever. Uh, you don't want to trudge everything out there and trips it all the way back in here. Now, like I mentioned, this one has two entrances into the bathroom. Um, so, when you wake up in the middle of the night, you don't have to go wander around the apartment. You can uh, just come on right to the bathroom. Uh, the bathroom's going to have a, a full tub. You get a curved shower rod, a really nice amount of shower space, front the curtain from attacking you. You also get the uh, built-in medicine cabinet here. And uh, under sink storage, as well as the nice big mirror. Uh, now, one great thing uh, is that if you are um, having friends over, you know, guests over, and this is your master bedroom, when you, you know, let's go into your private area to get to the bathroom, you can just come in through this one. Now, I'm bringing you over to the master bedroom. What most people call the master bedroom. So, square footage wise, this one's going to be a little bit more cozy, uh, not by much. You still get the nice big window. Um, this one, what well, I personally love about this, actually has some of the exposed brick right here. Uh, and then you also get a little bit more exposed brick in your walk-in closet right over here. So it's just, it's a very cool look. Um, you know, that's why I think most people choose to make this the bedroom. 
uh, or you know, if you want to make to a guest room, kind of you know, give your guests uh, the, the best of the bunch. Uh, again, you get the nice big windows, you get the, the morning light over here, and then this one uh, has its own private bathroom. All the same stuff as the other bathroom, just uh, all in one entrance. So, you know, if you made this into uh, your master bedroom, definitely no one would ever have to go into your bedroom to use the restroom. Uh, again, my name's Chris, uh, and I work at the 520 Park Apartments. If you have any questions about our apartments, please feel free to give us a ring at 410-685-1000 or choose an email at 520parkoffice at wpmllc.com. Thanks. Hope to hear from you soon.